a 25-minute drive with zero critical interventions on Tesla's version 12 full self-driving in Moldova. The video just dropped this week and there's no transcript available and I wouldn't trust voice recognition on it because it's somewhat of an obscure language with some regional accents but I've managed to find a native speaker willing to translate it and help me get a better understanding of what the speakers are talking about and their conversation is actually extremely interesting. Hello YouTube, I'm Michael Size, and there are two people talking in this video, the passenger who is filming and the owner who is in the driver's seat. And there's no point in making a full translation because the majority of the video is actually just the passenger freaking out about how good the technology is. But they do drop a lot of information, so we've compiled the list and I'm only going to talk to you about the stuff that matters. Right at the beginning, the passenger makes it sound like the owner added a computer inside the glove box and the owner doesn't confirm. And I think the passenger is just misunderstanding here because the glove box area is where the inference computer is located normally. The owner says that the car has no options on it and the passenger asks no paid options and the owner doesn't reply. I'm not sure exactly how hacked this car is, but they do mention that this car was totaled in the US and they refurbished it in Moldova, so it's likely that this car, a Model Y, is as hacked as Teslas can get, and in fact, I would guess that Tesla the company might not even know that the car even exists at this point. The owner mentions that he also has smart summon, but it only works if he disables the SIM card on the phone, which is something that's probably going to make a lot of sense to some people who also hack Teslas, but we can't really provide any further insights on it. So I'm not going to go in chronological order here, but later in the video, the owner mentions that he did have versions 10 and 11, and he implies that version 12 was a lot harder to hack. As for which V12 version, it's apparently the one that was released on April 28th. He also says that he is going to get Elon mode working on it in the future, which is going to remove the nag, and he says that he is going to get that done in about two weeks, which might be a two weeks Elon joke, or it might just be his actual timeline, we're not sure. Throughout the video, the owner does comment several times about how V11 would have freaked out or messed up, and this was interesting to us because he sounds a lot like how the longtime American FSD testers sound like. They're always making these comparisons, and the fact that this guy seems to have acquired the same habit, we believe grants credibility to his claim that he also tested 10 and 11. In comparison, the passenger is freaking out about the same things that Americans freak out on their first FSD drive, and he mentions all the things we kept hearing about from the American videos. Not afraid to brake suddenly when it gets cut off, not afraid to accelerate quickly when it has a clear and open road ahead, smart enough to accelerate slowly when it's entering a complicated situation, aware enough to stop for pedestrians which the passenger himself hadn't seen, assertive enough to drive above the speed limit on a wide and clear road, smart enough to drive below the speed limit on a narrow and crowded road, smart enough to stay further away from the buses which kind of take up more than one lane without getting hysterical, in the words of the passenger, and without using the turn signals because it's just a small deviation, but smart enough to use the turn signals and make a proper overtaking maneuver when going around the bus that stopped in an unprotected bus stop. Very cautious around pedestrians, not afraid to get relatively close to cars, and smart enough to engage in negotiation with other road users. Nothing spectacular, but these are all the things which the passenger verbally points out. Many of these happen several times, and most of the conversation in the video is actually the cameraman freaking out about them every single time again and again. And this is why we chose to not make a full transcript, but instead just communicate the stuff that matters. The passenger acknowledges that his camera work is terrible, but his excuse is that he's in shock at how good the car is performing. On a couple of occasions, the cameraman does try to show proof that the owner isn't touching the controls, so he shows the pedals once, he shows the wheel once, but he moves on quickly, and what I'm being told is that these guys don't sound like they're trying to 
prove anything. They're just trying to show off the system and they just have the same emotions as all the American testers. And for the owner, this is not a stunt about how he got FSD to work in Moldova, this is literally just about the FSD itself. He talks about stuff like how all Teslas since 2016 have the hardware, he talks about neural models, he talks about how the competition should be scared, he talks about the legal barriers in Europe, you know, this sort of stuff. So we are trying to emphasize that the owner is not trying to emphasize the in Moldova part, he is just trying to emphasize the FSD part, so we don't think that this is fake at all. At one point you can see his hands in the reflection in the screen gesticulating while the car keeps driving. But it seems like in general the owner is kind of trying to remain anonymous. The owner talks about how map data is not great and in some situations he did correct the maps manually but there are still mistakes and one mistake which they keep encountering is the bus lanes which the car doesn't know about so throughout the drive he keeps having to use the turn signal to tell the car to switch out of the bus lane. This is a maps mistake and not a planning mistake so I'm not counting it as an intervention at all. He also talks about taking the car to Romania where he says that the map data is actually accurate and the car was able to drive tens of kilometers without any interventions at all. In this video there is actually one intervention and it's when the car has a green light but it gets spooked by a pedestrian at the crossing. So the owner ends up giving it an accelerator press and getting yelled at by the people behind him. I don't think you can actually hear the yelling but they talk about it verbally. One thing that the owner emphasizes multiple times is that it took a lot of work to get version 12 running and therefore he's running it in assertive mode all the time, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but he says this several times so he really does make it work like this was a difficult thing to hack, which if that's the case that would be good for Tesla because you'd certainly hope so. So why does this video matter so much? Well, the company has told us that taking the neural network between geographies or the neural model as the owner in the video refers to it is fairly easy. And it only requires what sounds like a fine tuning pass to get it perfect in every new geography and this video appears to confirm it. In the conclusions part of the video the owner says that this particular neural model was made for Canada but we've just seen it do a 25 minute zero intervention drive in Moldova, not only on a different continent but in a fairly obscure part of the continent. And uh, this is interesting but the owner also says that neural models for Europe exist but he cannot get access to them. Now this comment is made in passing and it isn't followed up by anything but he does say it very explicitly and very calmly and we do know that Tesla was taking European officials on FSD drives recently so perhaps that's what they were using for the drives there. But where I think this is most important is actually in China, because there have been a lot of developments regarding Tesla Robotexes in China recently, lots of news in quick succession, and these have naturally raised concerns about technology theft and data theft. Now I do believe that I have figured out how Tesla is going to protect their IP and this video constitutes very strong evidence towards my theories. I said I'm not becoming a Tesla channel but this might mean that I have a few more Tesla videos coming up here but let's be clear, Tesla is tightly interlinked with all of my other topics and Robotaxis even more so because one Robotaxi can save as much oil as 5 regular electric cars, so this not only makes the energy transition much quicker but it also makes it much less resource intensive and even more attractive to customers. I do recommend watching the original video, I've shown you where the interventions are, so therefore everything else is just the car doing its own thing. And before I leave, the city, the name of the city, everyone's afraid to pronounce it, but it turns out it's actually not that hard. It's three syllables, Ki as in kiosk, Xi as in Xi Jinping, and No as in No. And the emphasis goes on the final syllable, so you put them together and you get Kishino. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and make sure to comment. I read all your comments. 
Elon Mode. Ce înseamnă asta Elon Mode? 